If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to become part of this community. So I never thought that these two things could go together, but there was actually some drama surrounding Kit Cudi and TikTok. Now this of course sounds kind of weird because Cuddy is definitely not someone who would use TikTok, a very, you know, modern and trendy platform to promote his music. He recently dropped his uh, third installment in his Man on the Moon series, Man on the Moon 3, The Chosen, which many people have been waiting for for now almost a decade or more than a decade actually. Um, because he first dropped Man in the Moon, the first Man in the Moon, uh, the end of day in 2009, and then Man in the Moon 2, The Legend of Mr. Rager in 2010, and he was really an artist that was at his peak around that time, the start of the 2010s. Now, of course, he's had his comebacks here and there with Kitsy Ghost together with Kanye West back in 2018. But, you know, many people consider him someone of an older generation hip hop and definitely not part of this new TikTok trendy wave of artists. But that doesn't mean that people are not going to use his music on TikTok. So there was a trend that started with a lyric uh, from his probably biggest song, Day and Night. Um, you know, you've probably seen it if you've been on social media recently. It's basically, um, they take that one bar, now look at this, and then it's just something weird that comes um, after that bar is, is said. And many people have been taking that to the extreme, and Cuddy had some stuff to say about this. Now, this all was, you know, uttered through a series of tweets and statements by Cuddy, and I wanted to kind of go over them. He first um, tweeted a couple of days ago and said, I don't mess with what they did to my song on TikTok, taking out the lyrics. We live in a strange time. I'm not flattered. Now, some might say that he's overreacting, and I'm going to go a little bit into the reactions to this in a second. But first of all, I actually got to say that I kind of, you know, I see his point. Some people are just taking out that one bar from the song, and my me, that is a very personal song to Kid Cudi. Um, this was about his uncle that he was living with, who then passed away, and it's something, it's a song that a lot of people can connect to, and that made a lot of people fall in love with Cudi's music and his persona. And that's why I see his point, but of course, TikTok is, um, you know, kind of a weird place nowadays where everything is just kind of. Uh, made into jokes and this is exactly what one fan then commented on under his post um, and he said let's face it Cuddy is 37 he doesn't culturally understand TikTok humor slash trends Gen Z is a thing they make jokes people all gens like jokes people all gens like making jokes that follow certain trends is harmless and he should be flattered and as I said, in a, in a lot of ways, I agree with this. Cuddy shouldn't take this too seriously. Look at what TikTok does with all these other songs. But then again, this is a very important and personal track to Cuddy. And this is a track that came out 12 years ago. So for people now to go back and, you know, use that song and use something that was so very important to Cuddy and that he made to help people is kind of insensitive in a way. Anyway... Let's further go over the, the statements that Cuddy had uh, put out on his social media. One fan said, it's whack, and he replied with, very. Then another thing that he said was, in response to another comment that said, Cuddy is goaded, but it just ain't that deep, really. And Cuddy said, I don't think I'm making it deep by tweeting how I feel. Now, if I was ranting, that's another thing. Nothing wrong with me stating I don't approve. Plus, if you are such a fan, you know my lyrics are most important to me. I'm passionate about my stuff, so I don't care who has a problem with that. And this is exactly, this is exactly what I just said. This is a very personal, important song to Cuddy. And to just take a lyric that was meant to be in a, in a greater scheme and in a bigger picture for that record um, and to just kind of make a joke out of it, I can see how that could be kind of insensitive. Now, a lot of people call him out on this, saying that, you know, he's just um, not really understanding the whole trend behind it and that he's taking it, he's taking it too serious and he's making it too deep. And Cuddy then 
eventually ended all of this all of this back and forth and and this whole uh, drama or whole situation by uh, posting a statement that he wrote in his in his uh, iPhone notes I'm guessing he said hey I want to make things clear and this is the last time I'm gonna address it the media has misconstrued my words. I am not pissed or angry as some articles are saying. I don't have a problem with TikTok at all and what kids do on there. When Memories and the Scots went viral, I thought it was pretty cool. When I made Day and Night, I wanted it to help people. I never imagined it would be used in a joking manner. It threw me off a little bit. As long as the song is still helping you guys and the lyrics aren't forgotten, keep doing your thing. Peace and love, y'all. And I think this was the best possible way that he could have handled this whole situation because he's clearly stating that that it threw him off at first to see people use something that he created in a very serious and a very personal manner and make it a joke. And I think if, if you know, if I was Cuddy and I made a song about my uncle passing away and I made it to help other people, as he said right here, and my lyrics were the most important thing to me, and my lyrics were the medium that I wanted to reach people and through which I wanted to communicate my message, and people just completely take it in a wrong context and make a joke out of it, I think I would be pretty mad too. But then of course, as um, you know, the, the, the comments from fans that I've, that I've read out before say, it's TikTok, it exists, it's Gen Z, it's all this very weird humor. And in a lot of ways, I, um, you know, I like a, a, good, a good bit of Gen Z humor. I'm, I'm very much into all that. But, uh, and, you know, Cuddy is a very important artist to me. And I can really see where he's coming from. Uh, Day and Night is a very important song for me too um and that is why um i can kind of see both sides but i think cuddy handled it like a man and handled it the right way with putting out an official statement also i love that he's saying like when memories you know that david get a song with uh, kid cuddy and the scots went viral that he thought it was pretty cool because that of course helped both of those songs even though with memories um it wasn't necessarily tiktok i think that was like a couple years before that but anyway um that that really helped him you know, make those songs what they are, and maybe if some more people uh, discover Kid Cudi and Day and Night, and that song helps them uh, through this through this whole TikTok trend, then that is a win-win situation in the end. It's all, I guess, it's not that deep. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. Do you think this is a serious thing, or do you think uh, Cuddy is just taking it too serious and it's really not that deep? Let me know what you think about TikTok and its influence on the music industry and what you think about this whole situation in the comments down below. Let's have a discussion about this, and I will see you guys in the next one. If you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day, and y'all take care.